Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. Today we are still in our El Generico, I think it's a Volvo truck, in our 4x4. And we're going to remain in it. We have already done two episodes in it. This is our third episode in this truck, which is uh, different for us. Uh, but I really want to try and get a dump trailer job with it. I want to do uh, wheel load loading. So I have set us up with a GPS already going to a construction site. So hopefully that will <laughs> that will give me what I want. If not, we'll have to take on whatever else is there. There might be some other sort of jobs that you get from a construction site that I don't know about. But I would like to try and get the dump trailer until I can afford to buy my own full-time dump trailer for doing those jobs with. It is just a few corners away. It's not far. It's not far. It's not far. Um, again, we are picking up where we left off last time. Because we are on a roll today. Today is mass record day. And it feels good. It feels good to be getting some content recorded. It feels good to be making some progress with this. It's really nice to be able to spend a few hours just playing the same game and getting into a rhythm with it. Not often we get to do that. Not often at all. There's no lights here. What are, they, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? And uh, obviously we've not gone off. We've not done, not done any extra contracts in between episodes. Uh, we do have 111,000 in the kitty though. So, you never know. After this job, depending on how long it takes, we might buy our new truck then. Or we might save it for the next step. So I think it's better to the next step. So we'll see how I feel after we get this job done. And if that's if we even get the job I want. Rice storm, mighty mate. <laughs> Did you see that one? Bloody balls. Right. Heart attack. He, he definitely ran, ran a rail now. I'm just going straight on from that. He just. Ooh, there. Nearly weed a little bit. <laughs> so it's not always my fault. The AI are... I don't know. Manivalent? Is that the right word for them? They are... They are brutal. They certainly don't care about us and what, what we're doing. And um, <laughs> where we might be, that is for certain. Let's see what we've got. Please, please, please give me dump truck trailer thing. You guys know what I want. I want that yellow thing. I want one of them, but I want one to attach on the back. Please, and oh yes, there are so. 18, 13 grand, 14, 14. So we've got long deliveries with it. I'll happily do a long delivery with it. 14 grand is the sort of thing we're talking about. So we're starting to see some, some better money. Again, it's going back to the last episode. This is completely dependent on the distance, not the load. Because thus heavier, but less. Not that weight is necessarily a thing, but there should be the value. I mean, this is only rubble. I don't know. What am I talking about? So our instructions are use the front loader to load the rocks into the trailer. We've got to get eight of those boulders into that trailer. Nice. Oh, that's loud. Oh, uh, wasn't, wasn't expecting that. That's good. Right, let's go in cab. Get the controls on. Yep, right. We're good. <laughs> they're, they're not inverted, but they're good. They'll do. See how we do. Eight. How many can we get in? I don't feel like the bucket is over enough, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Nice. 
nice and slow, nice and easy. Make sure it's over. So there's four. Is that all four? Ooh. Oh, there were no extras in there. Is that four? That is four. Okay. Can spawn some new ones in for us. See if we can scoop that one up. Ooh. I think we got the one. I'll come back. I get the uh, hit post. Not the post, but you know. That cement guard. I'm not even sure how many I've got now. Not many. I don't feel like I've got many in there. I can't see how many I've got. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> It was only one as well. Where's the uh, which way's the bucket? This is an issue that I do have in farm sim. Get the buckets right. There we go. There you go. Give it back to us. There we go. I, f I feel like there's. I feel like they come out of the bucket. I want my bucket to come back towards me a little bit more, please. Thank you. Let's move the camera. How many have you got in there? Three. Three. How did I get four in the first one, then? Oh. Are they all out? They're out. Right, we just need one more. That one that I had before. I feel like for the, um, oh yeah, now I get loads, that's what I want. Yeah, I feel like for the the forklift, pallet trucks, uh, it wasn't such an issue not have it in, have the controls inverted, but for this it does feel really weird not having it inverted. We've got like nine, ten in there, I think. We've got extras. Again, it's good, it works. Extras are spawning back in. So, I guess if you were playing on multiplayer, this is, by the way, I don't talk about it enough because I don't generally play multiplayer. This is a multiplayer game. I think there's a lot of these oriented towards multiplayer gameplay as well. Um, so, yeah, you can have someone else there now about to load in their rocks. Or they could be off and doing different jobs. You wouldn't necessarily, just by multiplayer, you wouldn't necessarily be doing the same thing, but they do have the convoy uh, aspect. So you'd have, you can have large vehicles, a couple of large vehicles going out there, and then you can decorate your your vans, your, um, your panel vans, your minivan, and also your cars to have convoy uh, markings. So they're your convoy vehicles, so it's your lead vehicle and your back vehicle, sort of clearing the way. How does this look? We'd like to see how they look. Yeah, doing construction work. Let's get one of them. We'll have a little, a little screenshot. You never know when it might come in handy. Because I forget to get um, thumbnails a lot of the time. Bonus ones. Or just to share around. Share around the Discord. Share around on Facebook. Just stick them about. Show people the fun you're having. So again, as always, thank you for coming back and joining us for another episode of this. My ears... That was so loud when I first started. <laughs> that wheel loader up, that was crazy. Crazy loud.
after you, sir. Here we go. Right. We have got quite a distance to go. So, with how long that took to fill, this might be a one-job episode, and I am perfectly fine with that one, being as this is the third episode in this van, or in this truck, in this vehicle, and it will be its fifth job. And we, we will have seen a variety then. Uh, we've done two... Is it two? Car loads. We've done the uh, with the, uh, the cargo loader. We did a cylinder with that, didn't we? So we've done, we done three. Three cars. I get so easily confused, and I forget so quickly. Bearing in mind the last four episodes, or including this one, so four episodes, have been recorded in one morning back to back, and I can't remember what I did in episode number two, episode number four. <laughs> Someone help me. What, what vitamin should I be taking? What do I need to improve? More cod liver oil? Like, I eat a lot of fish. God. Oh, mate, come on. He's going to scream as well. You're not going to wait, are you? No. Why would you? Why would you? I'm already on the roundabout. Why would you wait? Okay. Why would you? The nonsensical roundabouts. Try to make sure you hug our right hand side, really. In our trailer, we don't want to be hitting anyone with it. But considering we spent a lot, um, so the last episode, I think, when we went all the way up the east side, I believe today we are travelling all the way back up on the west side. We do not discriminate here. East side, west side, south side, all on the north side. Players! You better chiggity check yourself before you wreck yourself. Although we do like that West Coast pot. Right. So next time out after this one, we shall be, because this is definitely going to be a single job here, I believe. Uh, next time out, we will be buying a new truck. Something bigger. Or do we, surprise, surprise, do we go for a car and do a couple of quick little car ones? Because that's not going to be much different from the minivan. Just less, I should imagine. I'm not sure if I've got enough money for a car. The cars are expensive. It's that, or we, we, we jump to the Scania or the Man. The big ones, the 6x4s. That'll be, that'll be the, uh, the truck of... Or do we skip the 6x4s of the Scania and the Man? just go to the American style. I think that was like 140 grand though. I think that was like one of the most expensive. Intriguing, intriguing. We'll have to decide where we go and what we do. Also, let me know, do you want to see me do some more of these um, smaller, less known um, simulates. Let me know in the comments. Are there anything you'd like, any of them that you'd like to see me play? Uh, just because I say simulator in the title does not mean it is a simulator that I played up. Um, Goat Simulator will not get played. <laughs> I did get asked on stream the, uh, the other week. I say the other week, it'll probably be about a month ago when the time these come out. Um, will I be playing? <laughs> will you be playing Squirrel with a Gun? I will not be playing Squirrel with a Gun, no. I don't know why I would. I don't mind a madcap game sometimes. Like the uh, gas station simulator. That is wild. Um, I had a lot of fun with that. I'd love to bring that back. I'm not sure if I'm going to be interested in that anymore. It did garner a great deal of interest the first time round. But I, I had fun with it. It was mental. Absolutely mental how... Uh, how crazy and mental it got. Like, it's so quick. Like, it's, it's running everywhere all the time. No time to do anything at all. 
I was keyboard and mouse in it, and I was sweating. <laughs> uh, and they've added so much to that game. I haven't. It was one of the few games where I haven't actually brought all the DLC as they come out because I wasn't sure if I'd ever be going back to playing it. Not in a any time soon, anyway. It'll go on the back burner in the catalog of uh, games to go back to. Uh, Contractville has been brought up. Would I play Contractville? Now that intrigues me. I've watched a little bit of other people's gameplay. Watched uh, two different people play a bit of that. And like, it's got a lot of those life sim elements that I like about those sort of games. But from what I've read and what I understand about it as well, though, is like it is one hell of a grind to get anywhere to progress. And so, you know, would would you guys be interested in that? And yeah, sticking with it if it's a bit of a grind. The the, uh, the purse strings are pretty tight in the Far Cry household. You know, even something that's like 20, 30 quid, I've, it's got to be worthwhile me purchasing and putting content on. It needs to, you know, reimburse itself at least. Which a lot of, a lot of games do not when I put them out. So this world. Well. Input on stuff. Maybe, maybe some polls with some different games to see what people would like to watch. And then, thing is, as is often the case, you'll get more people interact with a poll about what to do with a game or games you should play than actually then watch the video. So a poll isn't always a a good way of doing it. I mean, I know that I I reply to polls for channels I don't even watch, and I'm sure others do. Others do. If it, if it comes up on my feed and I think someone's put the time in, oh, what should we sit? What, what would you prefer to watch? Or what would you? What should we do? What should we stream next stream? What should we do this? I have a look at their channel, and then I'll click on what I think they should do, it's depending on their content. And quite often I'll comment as well. I wouldn't necessarily tell them that I don't watch, but I will uh, comment and say, look at if I go on with your, you know, your channel, you should. I think it would be great to see you play. XYZ. There is someone that I do watch. Oh, there's been an incident. Ah, oh, they despawned. Well done, game. Oh, I speed them. Oh, sorry, 20, 25 credits for that. Um, it's good that the game despawned them rather than leaving them uh, clogging up the road. Another thing maybe other games should do when, you, when your AI vehicles collide and get stuck and the game can obviously register that they're not moving anymore. He spawned one and let the next one move on. Let that be a feature in all, all games. You have to despawn it straight away. You can have a little collision and a bit of time there, but yeah, as long as it eventually despawns, that'd be cool. We have uh, all sorts of collisions in ETS and ATS that just clog up roads and you end up having to either, you know, go into the commands, doing command keys and type it in and despawn all traffic, or exit the save and come back in the save. And if you're recording, if, especially if you're streaming, that is such a chore and such a stream killer. You have to do that, so, yeah. Despawn your traffic. Because we get that these things happen, mistakes happen. And much like in real life, you know, these things happen. A little bit loss of concentration and it's an accident. Your AI suddenly go a little bit off sync, and there's uh, they merge. <coughs> Excuse me, there's a thing. I, I get that. That works great. That works great for immersion. But let's not leave them there all day, because <laughs> that doesn't work great for gameplay. I want to be moving over. Have we got anyone there? We haven't. Oh, I don't want to quietly come in quite off. It's just more comfortable over there. I want to take the junction. Fuel. I don't think fuel is adjustable. Fuel seems to last a while. I know we don't go massive amounts of distance. Like with each vehicle, you know, four or five jobs. But considering we're travelling, like, 
sometimes three cities, three towns. And the game's obviously tracking mileage distance to, to over 250... No, that's how much money I've earned. I don't know how many miles. I've done over a thousand kilometers. Was that a hundred thousand kilometers or something? I got an achievement for doing quite a lot of mileage not too long ago. A hundred thousand kilometers. And that was back in August. So about five or six episodes ago, we, we, we clocked up 100,000 kilometers. Don't know how much fuel we should have used in that time. But in, you know, we've done another five or six episodes since then. So I'll be pushing like 200,000 kilometers. I wonder if there's a 250,000 kilometer achievement. I look over there because it's, I've got um, Steam open up on the other, other screen, so I can see when that, that achievement popped, because it was the last one for uh, loaded cargo with a telescopic handler. Which is what we got for the container the other week. It would have been the other week by the time this comes out. It was just this morning. The magic, the magic of the internet. It's not quite as good as the magic of television, but it's still pretty good. Jumped off that. Got a little short where I jump off that one and I land over there with that van. It's <laughs> crazy, crazy game. See, this, the game can be uh, have that, that fun, silly moment as well. That was good. As soon as I saw that jump, when I was just having my practice little, see if I enjoyed the game enough to put content on it, I saw that jump. I was like, oh yeah, let's do that. And there's jumps all over the map. There is an achievement, I've said it many times, for jumping, hitting the jump and landing on a ferry that's travelling up the river. So you've got to find the right jump at the right time that the ferry's coming. And if you can land on the ferry, there's an achievement for it. There's an afternoon to waste. I'm trying to get that one. and dump like we did with the, the small trailers I think I'm not quite sure what these guys want with the boulders but they're having the boulders they're like yep yeah, all your boulders belong to me so since they want them they can have them let's go let me see how that one I think it's getting in there yeah, we're there, we're there. It's telling me to do it. Do it, do it, do it. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, there we're not. We're not straight. I want to drop them in the... There we go. Why does it tell you to drop them before you're there, really? Really? Why does it do that? Let's have a go. Let's have a go, shall we? Ready? Out they come. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. 14 grand. Not bad. I mean, that was a long one. Uh, up to 125,000, which is great. So let's have a little look at in the garage. This is going to respawn us somewhere else entirely. But what we can afford for next time, 125,000. So the, the vehicles on the list, it's not that one. Because that is the equivalence of what we got. So... This is 73,000, that's the uh, 6x4, or the 4x6, and there's the man version, which is 61,000, so it's so much money, and then the American one, which is 114. Why is that one so much more expensive? Import costs, I guess. Um, what's the horse about? 700 horsepower. Oh. It's a lot more on the horses. And the cars that we haven't got. 43. 70. 99. See, that's... 
for doing this is the convoy stuff so you get the, equi the equipment for convoy yeah purchase it and then you can do that with it um but yeah considering ev everything you do with this you can do with a minivan i think apart from maybe the large caravan can a minivan pull caravans Or a small caravan so that's exactly that's less so it's again depends on horsepower 340 250 uh, <laughs> this is 168. Maybe this is the one you use for jumping on the uh, on the ferry. Any other? <laughs> what is? It's the monster truck, which is 349 grand. So I don't even know if we'll ever get there. We will have to go off into the hills to see what it does. But I'm I'm not certain that that's going to be a thing for us. But that has been it for this episode, and it's probably going to be it for this truck for a while while we go and um, do some more things with some other vehicles, try and earn some more money to get those more expensive ones. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.